look at I suppose and I've been up in I've been in Dublin for ten years now and you know I'd be I suppose a fan of the way they play the game as opposed to a fan of Dublin obviously I'm from my own I, I always will be I think um, you know I think you have to appreciate you know what they're doing and what they do I think um, anyone that's I suppose has a deep interest in 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 the game you know will I suppose warm to what 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 they're about I think you can only but kind of admire it I think um, and similar to Mayo, I suppose, coming up in the last two or three years, you know, our mindsets, I suppose, since James Horne came in, has transformed the way Mayo football is. I think, um, are they looking for that? You know, you know, going back to the question, I suppose, you know, it's hard to argue. Are they going to win it this year? You know, if Connolly comes back, I think they will. If he doesn't, it's going to be a lot harder. I think, um, you know, it's it's a good time for Dublin, and I think, and the reason I say that, you know, the standard of other teams has dropped substantially. You know, you've had Mayo and Dublin the last four or five years, pretty much. Kerry snuck in a one all learning in between that. Um, you know, Tyrone have been pushing here and there. Donny Gall obviously came in and won one as well, but it's not consistent. You know, there's teams coming in and out, maybe one year and then they're gone for two or three years as such. Whereas Dublin have been, I suppose, consistent through as have Mayo. I suppose minus I suppose the trophy. I think you know the one good thing I suppose from Mayo's point of view, they're not thinking of Connacht championships now, whereas it's all Ireland's, all Ireland's, all Ireland's. Um, whereas that has to change this year due to the Super Eights. You have to, you have a far better opportunity if you win your province than obviously not trying to get into the Super Eights. And I think you know the way Galway have gone. I think it'll be good for Mayo. I think, you know, all the talk is Galway now and it's going to be Galway, Kessler, Galway, Galway, Galway. You know, they ran Dublin to three points, still got beaten. Um, you know, I would have been probably disappointed if I was playing with Galway or from Galway. You know, you're, down, you're, you're playing against a team with 14 men for pretty much a half a game and don't go on to win the game. And, and Dublin, you know, as I, I go back to it again with the process, I mean, you know, they finish, they win the game by four or five points and there's not too many teams in Ireland minus a man against a very much improved side, which Galway are, and to go on and win the game by four points. So, you know, would you couldn't but, I suppose, agree with certain people when they say, you know, they're going to go on and win another Ireland this year. I mean, that's, you look at the way their performances have been the last number of years, that's what it'll point towards. It's not, it's just the way it is, unfortunately. Fans will always be confident. You know, I mean, every All Ireland we play up here in the last three or four years, there's more confidence each year, even though we kind of lose and lose. And then, you know, because you, you see the run, the run where, I wouldn't say we're Dublin's bogey team, but we're, you know, close-ish to them, you know what I mean? It's not, it's not, what's the word, it's not, it's not a surprise Dublin don't play well against Mayo, due to the way Mayo play and they're physical, they get in their faces and maybe just don't have that quality to get enough scores on the board, you know, that's that's been the case so far, you know, well, obviously we'd, we'd be hoping that changes, but, you know, I think, the, the one thing I'll say, and I, I, I tend to bring in all the Dublin games in, as in the three All-Irelands, that the one disappointing thing for me has been Dublin, Dublin haven't performed to the maximum in the finals. And, you know, you go back to the belief thing as well. We're there with a point to go. Like, I suppose, the, of, the, of, all, of the three finals, the Donald Vaughan and John Small thing is, it was the one incident that should have propelled us to an all Ireland. You know, obviously against Dublin, you're more on edge because you know if you make a mistake, counter-attack, bang, they're gone. That's, and I go back to it again, the quality player. They have that, you know, you have Jack McCarthy, Keane Sullivan, half-back line, James McCarthy with pace. You know, Gavin has his, I suppose, particular players in very particular positions, you know, as in fitness-wise, like James McCarthy would be one of the fittest players to have. And, I suppose you've seen Jim Gavin last week with the young guy from Rafina that came on against Galway at half time. No one's ever heard of him. I've never seen him playing yet. He comes on for a full half. Would that happen in, in any other county? Probably not. That no one knows about, no one has heard about. And comes on and performs and, and, and adds to what's already there. I mean, that's, you know, is he better than, you know, we'd say Loftus in Mayo? Probably not. They're probably on a, on a similar pair. But, you know, the, the the challenge for them younger guys in Mayo is to to understand that when you come on, you have to add to what's already there. It's not just coming on. 
you know, you can't rest in your hours, you get into a Mayo squad and you're happy enough, you're comfortable, I'm on the squad and blah, blah. It's, it's to get the most out of what you can and get the most out of that team and win as much as you can. Yeah, thanks, goodbye. You know what I mean? It's, it's you know, so these Dublin guys know they have to perform when they get in because if you don't, you're not going to come on. You don't even, you won't even come off the bench. You won't even play. Whereas if you get on and play well, you know, there's a good chance you start the following week. That's the way management is. Whereas, you know, I, I think in other places, some players are going to play regardless, good or bad. If they're good or bad, they're going to play the following week. Where if that, and that's hard for younger fellas too, because, you know, why are you going to keep busting your balls if, you know, you're going to get a few minutes here and there, but you're not really going to play? It's common knowledge, particularly in Dublin, you know, that, you know, you'd be probably head and shoulders above most of the, of the Dublin squad. And I think that's, you know, through club football, through county football. Um, Look, I think the aura about him is pretty much because he, you know, he obviously doesn't do a huge amount of interviews. There's a lot of people don't know, I suppose, in depth his personal life. I think, and that's, you know, due to the nature, I think, of, of Irish people. That's kind of, it's not intriguing. It's kind of irritating for people that they don't they don't know about this guy. Whereas, you know, guys that do interviews, you know where they live and you know their lifestyles and what they're doing because that's generally. At some stage in your career, that's what you'll be asked when you're doing an interview. Whereas with, with Jeremy Connolly, just he doesn't do these these kind of things with people, and you know, obviously that's his own that's his own choice. Um, you know, he performs pretty much all the time when he plays, um, and you know, I I think, and I I said it only a couple of weeks ago. It's Dublin will find it hard to win All Ireland without him because you know, whilst the young players that have coming through are fabulous players, and the players that are there are fabulous players. That little bit extra class, and and that you don't know what he's going to do. Um, whereas we say, what what he will do will benefit the team. It's not you know what's he going to do? Is he going to throw a box or it's it's a it's a sporting, you know, is he going to score a magical point or you know, as as you seen the free he won against me all last year when he came in? It's it's those little things, you know. You never you you'll never say about a player that's going to win an All Ireland for by winning the free, which. In effect, that, that's exactly what happened last year with Mayo.